Welcome back to the next episode of Based or Cringe, Money or Meme, Bait or Great, Cash or Trash. The names just keep coming. It's it's Atlas strategy testing time. We're going Legion <laughs> and uh, we're just going very low investment Legion. Just single officer scarab and three Legion scarabs. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, and finally, five guaranteed legions on every map. And uh, I just chisel and alked a bunch of dunes. Dunes is the best layout. Probably should have ran the breaches on here too. Probably could have been a little bit better, but this time we're going legion. It's kind of the meta map for legions. Nice open layout. Gonna pick up some shrines too. Tree is pretty much every single legion, not generals. Uh, not keystone and not long legions. So do them fast. Picked up some extra shrines, Nico, extra map mod effect, and extra scarab drops. Pretty usual tree, middle wheel, top hat, full legion, some scarabs. Let's go. Uh, as always, loot separate. Write it down. I have taken off single and double and triple splinter drops from the filter so i'm only going to be looting stacks of four splinters and up i'm filtering incubators i'm only showing like currency fossil essence div i think so only showing kind of the best incubators i will put them on my gear as they drop to try to get as much of them as possible like incubated and then we'll add the, the you know the leftover ones in the end there and uh yeah that's how we're gonna do incubators Okay, there's a ritual. We're not doing the ritual. We see ritual, we run away, we click the legion, and we have fun. Okay, this is the new strat. No longer, no longer window shopping. We are uh, now having fun. When can I click the next one? Let me click the next one. More fun. Let's go. Very good. Thinking your best years are behind you leads to your best years being behind you, regardless of age. Reliquary Scarab of Vision. What is that? It thinged. Oh, it's Nameless Seer. It's Seer and Go. 1.5 div. Big. <laughs> okay, yeah. Legions are still fun. As I remembered. Where's the breach with coming out? No, it's not coming out today. It's tomorrow. T today the, the ritual is up, okay? Can't do more than one a day. My editor also likes to play the video game, okay? Let her... Let her chill. Oh! <laughs> the timing on the hand! <laughs> Someone clipped that drop. <laughs> Holy shit, that was perfect. What do legions breathe? Legionnaire. Mortal ignorance. Why is that ting in? Because it's 60C. What the fuck? It's like the second one I found. Still no road dev, by the way. But we're farming some mortal fragments. Why is everything measures in device instead of exalted? So, like, two years ago, or like a year and a half ago, they made the change that you now need divines for meta crafts. So, suffix is gonna be changed, prefix is gonna be changed, multi mod, all that stuff is now divines instead of exalts and they removed the divine vendor recipe. So if vendor is six link, you no longer get a divine. You get 20 fusings instead. So those two changes made exalt and divine basically swap places. And so now divine is the, is the big currency and exalt is the small one. So now you can slam your items for cheap, but you can no longer divine your items for cheap. Okay, guys, we are done with 50 legion maps and I haven't found a single divine orb. I found five exalts and no divines, and they are equally rare. So I think we got kind of unlucky on the raw currency side, but you know, that's our data, so that's what we go with. I'm gonna do the boring stuff, skip to the good stuff on YouTube, as always, be right back now. <laughs> well, I took out a bunch of uh, garbage. I'm sure there is some more garbage in here, but uh, we'll start counting these 
we got 202 extra incubators that I couldn't incubate. I was constantly incubating and uh, it, it's just too much. I'm only showing Scarab, Diviner and Ornate and we have 202 of those, which I'm gonna incubate in the future, but I'm not gonna sell them. We can count them as 2C value because on average you're gonna get more than 2C out of them. Ornates actually sell for 4C each. So, you know, you're gonna get a stack deck, you're gonna get some card, you're gonna get some currency. Sometimes you'll get a divine. I didn't, but I mean, I barely incubated any, so, you know, only 50 maps and all. So this is 404C value. Probably put 500, but 404C. I also looted like 80 Abyss Jewels, which I'm not gonna value because I'm not gonna price check them. But this is one of those dump tab methods. If you have a dump tab, put it in for one divine, identify all of them. Maybe you get message for some of them. If you don't, put it down to 50C, maybe you get message for them, whatever. I'm not gonna count them for now, but we did pick up a lot of Abyssal Jewels and some of them might be good. So that's worth mentioning. Got a patient card, it's my only card left in here. I took out all the bad cards. And let's see the maps. Oh yeah, oh, I also got a pretty well rolled room. Is it's like 20 C jungle valleys. We actually over sustained on our favorite. It seems like by far this seems like a lot more than 50 maps. 72 jungle valleys, which is our favorite, at 5 C each. It's 360 C. Other maps. Once again, I only show 14, 15, and 16. So that is a 136. We valued these at four in the last two, so we'll continue to do that. 554. I'll take out the T17s because last time Excellence couldn't do that. Sneaky, sneaky, almost snuck, us, snuck by us in the breeze strat. These were 90C each. Let's see if they changed. Okay, yeah, they're more like 100 plus, but maybe if you don't have bulk, probably 80. 80 can probably insta sell still. Four tomes this time around, 17C each. Sork boots, it's like the only good fractured item I found. And uh, it's about a div, it seems like. It's a pretty good roll. High roll uh, T1% ES on the best base. So, at like 150C. Oh yeah, I got a Vols, it's 80C. Crazy. Imperium I got a perfect troll the ephemeral edge. That's pretty nice. 70C. They made this rarer than it used to be. This used to be like a 1C item, maybe 5C if it max rolled. Now it's pretty good. There's a couple of blueprints. 15C each. Actually, take out the breach rings. Let's take out the sack frags and this to not not and maybe these. I think that's perfectly fine. What is this jewel here, actually? 10C, 44C, 1 divine. Okay, that's a question mark. We'll add 10C, okay? Maybe it's better. We'll just add 10C. Okay, so, helicopter, helicopter. We have priced everything that Excellence can't. We need to take out the investment and then Excellence these three tabs, Legion and Go, and arrive at the conclusion. We have spent four and a half C on these scarabs and two C on this. So six and a half C. And then of course, two and a half C rolling the maps or so nine C on the map plus five on the map device. So 14 C per map is our total investment, which means we spent 700 chaos on all of the maps and five C per map also. So also, 250C, right? On just the maps, on the maps themselves, since we're counting the maps as returns to. So we are at 1,220 divine profit, 12C for this map, two elder maps, 20C each actually, maybe even 22. One vault temple map, 30C, okay. One conqueror map, 25C, and then two museum maps, 20C each, it's Maokun, Omega Lol. That was the rehearsal, yeah, it's some 5C maps. I counted Veritanias as Elder Map. Oh, I did, oops. Okay, 20, 25, okay, so it's 5C difference, okay. So, 1,382 Chaos 
after investment and taking out everything that excellence can't value. I think we're switching to wealthy exile next. I'm finding more and more things that excellence is uh, skipping pricing. So we now manually priced everything that we had to and now we'll excellence the three tabs and arrive at the final conclusion for the Legion and go. Let's go. And the final number is 5,715 chaos plus this which is 7,097 chaos, incredibly close to the breach strat. It took a tiny bit longer to run, but first let's do the per map, of course, actually. 7,097, how many divines is that? 150 for a div right now, that's 47.3 divines, pure profit, which over 50 maps is 0 0.94. I think that's our highest per map extraction, slightly over breach, but it took slightly longer to run. It took five hours to run them instead of four and a half. So that is 9.4 divines per hour, 9.46, almost 9.5. So again, this doesn't include graves that you pick up with the league mechanic. It doesn't include all flames that you pick up with the current league mechanic. If you're watching this in the future, that is good news for you because this is still relevant. And it doesn't include these abyssal jewels that I picked up. Once again, you could, you know, just spam IDDs. Some of them might be worth something. Very cool. So. Legion has been fun, but it has taken a huge hit due to the uh, domination, introduction of the domination scarab and the nerf to five ways and the nerf to uh, stack decks. So now you can jam in a bunch of shrines into your map and then put this scarab on. Domination scarab of teachings is insane XP. 30% XP per shrine and it stacks. You can pick up like 10 shrines and get insane amount of XP. So uh, that plus the five way nerf kind of hit the Legion strat a little bit, but it is still very consistent money. And we didn't get a divine drop. We didn't get a single divine drop. I added a divine because I had half a stack of fortunate, so I just swapped that for a divine. But I mean, we made 46 divines, so even getting one or two divine drops on top of that, you know, it's not gonna change much. Or 47, what was it? 47.3. So this is just pure consistent scraps profit. It's not getting carried by any huge drop any big find, we didn't find any great scarab. So if you do, you know, money goes up, of course. We didn't get lucky this time, but I think Legion has been pretty fun. Another one for the books. That's it for the Legion. It's pretty good. Not insane, but not terrible. Uh, oh, actually, if you don't have a strong character, there's two points you need to add to this tree. It's this 40% increased duration, protracted battle, and another 20%. With just these two points, you can give a lot more time for yourself to open up the Legion. So if you don't have a fast zoomy build, you just add these two points, take away like two random like Scarab nodes or whatever, and you'll be uh, blasting. I didn't spec into the general node because I hate generals. They, you know, slow things down, but if you want to add even more like splinters to your maps, you can add these three nodes too for generals. But yeah, I skipped the generals. There's also a Scarab that guarantees generals. I didn't use that. I don't think it's great. So, no generals. If you have a stronger character, again, I'm trying to not make this rely on either League Mechanic or having like an insanely strong character, so I didn't spec into Altars. You can spec into Blue Altars or Red Altars if you're running them and you can click all of them. That's fine. You can also add Deli Chance. It's very easy to get 100% Deli Chance now. So you drop some Scarab nodes or some map mod effect, but, or the Shrines, because I like Shrines, but you can just delete the Shrines and the maps and the Nico and add basically 100% deli chance on every map. It doesn't scale the Legion loot, but I mean, it scales the base quant of your map with deli. So you're gonna get more loot, but it requires a stronger character. So you can definitely add deli on top of this or pretty much any of the strats that I've run, except the back to basics, of course. So that's worth mentioning. And um, again, if you, you know, like these videos, there will be more like and subscribe, all that stuff. Um, thank you for watching. Next.